After four months, we're finally putting the tie back on and we're flying for work, not just to stay current. Today we're going to fly from Miami, Florida up to Tampa International. Welcome aboard the TBM 850, everybody. We'll start this up. The uh, Marshall and I are ready to wind up. You can let me know we're ready to go. Fuel boost pump on. Bolts are looking good on the battery. Starter is on. Ignition light is also on. Now we're looking down at the NG. It's going to rise up and stabilize right at about 14%. We'll introduce the fuel to low idle. Now we're watching the ITT for our hot start and the NG for a hung start. Looks like the ITT is going to temp out right at 7.38. That's Celsius. Now we're continuing to watch the NG to make sure it winds up through the start cycle. We'll go over and pick up the ATIS here at Opalaka. Alpha. We'll walk the ground on our A51 Tango Bravo over at Signature. The Alpha looking to pick up our IFR. TBM A51 Tango Bravo. We'll look at ground clear to Tampa International Airport via the Miami 6 departure. Winko transition then is filed. Maintain 2000. Expect flight level 260. 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.45. Squawk 0046. Clear up to Tampa Miami 6. Winko transition as filed. Maintain 2000. 260, 10 minutes after, 1945 on departure frequency, squawk 0046, and I've already five one Tango Bravo. I've already five one Tango Bravo, read back is correct, say parking. And we're going to be approaching spot three with information alpha, and we're ready to taxi, and we're five one Tango Bravo. Ready five one Tango Bravo, roger, runway nine or left, taxi via November 6th, November. November 6th, November to nine left, 851 Tango Bravo, thanks. All right, we'll give the uh, marshal a flash of our taxi light, and he's telling us we are clear to taxi straight ahead. And off we go to spot three. It is extremely hot in this cabin today. Plus 30 degrees Celsius outside, and the humidity is no joke. Trans Auto 801. Trans Auto 801, let me check the system. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. It's an exciting day to be back finally working once again. The last four months I've just been flying to stay current. So it feels good to uh, actually have a purpose to get up here to fly. Flaps down, we got the wings out there, you see the flaps coming down? 
you guys do like these videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also ring that little bell. That'll notify you when we upload a video. Amps are now at a reasonable level. We can put the air conditioning on. We'll do our over speed governor check here. 1900. There we go. The drop is within our limits and back. Over speed governor test checks out good. So the one thing in our clearance today, they cleared us up to flight level 260. That's actually a mistake. Uh, we'll just correct that in the air. I filed for 16,000 on the way over to Tampa today. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there's our taxi diagram, and there we are. A little blue airplane blinking on November as we're taxiing down to 9 left. Hope all tower, good afternoon. Number 851 Tango Bravo, hold short of 9 left. Number 851 Tango Bravo, hold short runway 9 left, traffic on short final. Roger, holding short 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. Yeah, we got the uh, traffic in sight out there, looks like a Cessna on short final. Wait for him to land, and then we'll hopefully get our clearance after that to take off. I'm fine, I'll see you, call sign. 5198 Echo, 1500 There goes the little Cessna, Wayman Aviation. My buddy Wayman uh, has that flight school. Number 851 Tango Bravo, flight heading 09 turbo, runway 9 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeff, 9 left, we'll fly 09 in the heading. All right, 851 Tango Bravo. All right. Clear for takeoff. Cross the hold short line here. I got the uh, one Cessna out there on final. And the runway is clear down the runway. Line up here on center line. And Tampa International, here we come. All right, gonna ease the uh, prop RPM up to 2000. And advance our takeoff power. Takeoff power is set. Well, temperature pressures all look good in the green. Now we're just looking for our rotation speed. There it is. Positive rate. And indicating. We'll go gear up. Gear is up. I got a little traffic call out there. No factor. And we're gonna go flaps up selected. Hey yaw damper on. Now the airplane shouldn't yaw around as much. Number 851 Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure. Our departure, 851 Tango Bravo, have a good morning. Good morning Miami, number 851 Tango Bravo, 1000, climbing to 2000. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami departure, ready contact, climb on 7000. I'm 7,000, 851 Tango Bravo. And we're going to climb in IES mode. We've got 7,000 set up in our altitude pre-selector. And we'll put the autopilot on. Start to go into some IMC conditions. Right now we cannot really see out the windows very clearly, so we'll be rolling off our instruments. Number one Tango Bravo, turn left in 320. Left 320, one Tango Bravo. 320 set up with our heading bug, and since we're in heading mode, clear out there to the left for the most part, from what I can see. Now see, we're actually climbing a little bit at a faster indicated airspeed than what I would like to do. We're at 160, so I'm going to hit the control wheel steering button here on the left side of the yoke. That gives me manual control over the yoke. Now you're going to see the CWS light coming on. Now I'm going to pitch the airplane up, so we're going to bleed off that airspeed back to 140. And then I'll release the CWS button. There's our 320 heading. And our airspeed is now at 140. I released the CWS button. Now the autopilot takes back over control. I'm at one Tango Bravo climb and maintain 1414,000. Maintain 14,000, 851 Tango Bravo. Before. And we'll adjust our pressurization. We'll maintain VFR at about 300. For our cruise altitude. And I'm going to clear that uh, confusion up on our cruising altitude the assignment. Bravo flight in 300 to join the Winko transition. 300 to join the Winko transition, and we have a correction on that cruise altitude if you got a moment. What's the altitude you want? Uh, 16,851 Tango Bravo. You want 16,000 to be your final? Affirm. Alright, expect that 16,000 to be your final. 
Roger, we'll be 300 in the heading to join the Winko transition. I'll expect 16,851 Tampa Bravo. Okay, so we got that all cleared up. And since now we're on a heading assignment to join the Winko transition, we'll go into nav mode. Now the airplane is going to hold 300 heading until the Winko transition comes in there. And then it'll automatically join that transition. And we're going to go into 850 mode. Power is just under 100%. Flap lever goes up and over the gate. I'm going to flip this switch down by my left knee. Special separator is coming off. Flip more air into the intake. We're getting our torque rise, our ITT drop, and we'll be able to utilize torque above 100%. Just have to be careful because we can over torque the engine now. That would not be a good thing. That could be about a $400,000 bill if we were to do that. Take a look down here at the iPad. There we are. Look at all the different airplanes all around us. And there's the Winko transition, that magenta Miami line. And that's our routing. For five right up into right, Tampa. Right the winds are out of the south, so we have our arrival set where we'll do a big, uh, left downwind to the uh, runway. And it's finally starting to get more comfortable in the cabin here with the temperature. Yeah, we got Reggie in the back. He's all the way at the back of the airplane today. And uh, that's who I'm flying with, this is my coworker Reggie. Passing through 10,000 feet. Number eight, Gulf Lima, Miami departure, ready contact, climate tank one six sixteen thousand. Actually, put the armrest down, get a little comfortable. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is my job. With the uh, COVID that has come out, the coronavirus, back in April, March, my company has basically decided to take a big time break from flying around. But uh, today, you know, this is the first day that we're back flying a, as a job for work. Lately, I've just been flying to stay current, keep the airplane working properly. It uh, feels good to be actually get back in the airplane and have a purpose to get up here and fly it around. Passing through the last haze layer here, that's right where the haze layer is, is at 1, 2,500 feet. They'll get a little bump here or two, just pass through that final haze layer, and it's just smoothing right on out above that. That's 1,000 to go, 1, 3,000, climbing up to 1, 4,000. And as we level off, I'm going to adjust our rudder trim here on the left side of my yoke. Pushing over to the left. To keep us coordinated for it. Alright, there we are. So, airplane's captured 14,000. We're getting a little bit closer to the Winko transition. 3.1 miles to the right of it. Closing in. Nice and smooth now that we got above that haze layer. Reggie and I actually just both got our COVID-19 test results in just yesterday. And we both tested negative. So, we're good to go. He's back in the back, studying. He also goes to college. So there's the uh, transition came in. That's where nav mode. The airplane's turning on to the Winko transition, which is a uh, virtual line between the Dolphin VOR and the Winko intersection. And we'll square up the heading point. One Tango Bravo, Flight Montana, 1616,000, and contact Miami Center, 132.45. 32.45, and we'll climb and maintain 16,000, 851 Tango Bravo. Good day. Hey. Okay, right, so we got 16,000 set up. We'll VSF 1,500 feet a minute up. I'm a good morning, though. 851 Tango Bravo, 14,000, climbing to 16,000. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Fort Myers, altimeter 2997. Fine. Nice having, thank you. So we got our clearance right up to our cruise altitude now. So yeah, I went with a new mounting system here with pivot cases. They've got this really nice uh, case for the iPad, keeps it really uh, secured and uh, safe when I'm traveling around. And also it's got the uh, the yoke mounting system, so it's my first flight with it, and it seems like it's really working out pretty well. It comes on and off real quick and easy, a little button on the back, just slips right off. And if once you go to put it back on, come in the airplane here and click it right back on. So yeah, so far I'm really enjoying the uh, pivot case mounting system. Actually, I think I'll have a link in the description below. You're gonna, if you guys wanna mount something like this in your airplane, they'll have a discount code. Uh, you'll be able to save money. So that's always a good thing. But be sure to check down in the description below for that. So there we are, we'll level out at 1, 6, Nice and smooth. I'm going to let the airplane plane out, and we'll let it build up some uh, indicated airspeed there, and we'll set our cruise power. 
if we take a look down here at the iPad, we've got the synthetic vision on the top there and our routing down there on the bottom. We go to the airport tab here. There's Tampa International. Looks like winds are 110 at 9, gusting 14. 10 mile visibility, few 28,000. And 29 degrees Celsius. So most likely, go get the ILS for 19 left. So there is our approach plate. So we'll get that all set up and briefed. And we can set cruise power, so we're going to pull the power back just a little bit, and then we'll pull the prop RPM back to 1900. 1281, fire present, heading back to restore traffic out front. There we go, so cruise power is set. We can readjust our torque a little bit here. All right, so we're all set up. We'll put the XM radio on, enjoy the views, and catch you a little bit farther down the arrival. There we are at uh, 220 heading 2000. To join the localizer, we're going to nav mode. Heading 250 So Here comes the localizer in. You can see it. Airplanes turn onto the localizer. Maintain two to establish clear the ILS runway non approach. Maintain 2000 until established clear. ILS runway 9607. Tampa 851 Tango Bravo, we can uh, maintain visual now. One Tango Bravo, clear visual approach, runway 19 left, Connect Tower 195. Clear for the visual, 19 left, over to Tower 851 Tango Bravo. Yeah, you can see the runway out there in front of us in sight. Uh, we'll be able to maintain visual all the way to the runway. Tower good at Morning, November 851 Tango Bravo on the visual for 19 left. 851 Tango Bravo, good morning, wind 11013, gust 17, runway 19 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 19 left, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so we have a gusty crosswind off the left. Put our flaps selected, first notch, and uh, we can it. also make sure it indicates. Flap selected and indicating us. We'll go geared down. Selected. And indicating. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a gusty crosswind here off the uh, left-hand side. We're going to uh, keep the crab in, and I'll kick the crab out right as we get into the flare. I'm actually going to take off the yaw damper now. Now I can utilize the rudder pedals. And we're still pretty fast. I like to keep the speed up when coming into these bigger airports on short final, just because, you know, you're dealing with a lot of other traffic that's going a lot faster than what normally GA airplanes would be going. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. We're looking good. Like as you can see, we are crabbed pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it through the cameras. The nose is pointing way over to the left of the runway. And it's a little bumpy. And there's our decision height. That was as low as we could have gone if we were on the approach. Yeah, we hit a little wind shear right there. I'll go back to flight idle. Kick the crab out. And nice smooth touchdown. I surprise myself sometimes. Go back into reverse. And welcome to Tampa International, guys.
Tampa ground, good morning, no worry. 5 one Tango Bravo, clear 1-9 left on Juliet, need to go to signature. Alright, I'm not getting anybody on ground. I have to go back to tower and ask them. Tower 8-5-1 Tango Bravo. Say again? That's 8-5-1 Tango Bravo. I I'm not able to get anybody on 21-7. 21-7 is uh, ground control, no one's up on that? Yeah, another guy over at the gate is trying to get it for his push, and I also I can't get it, contact him either. Okay, where, uh, where are you parking today? Uh, we're clear 1-9 left on Juliet, and we need to go to signature 8-5-1 Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, roger, uh, right turn there on Delta, cross from way 28 to signature this frequency. Roger, thanks. Right turn on Delta, cross 28 in the ramp with you, 851 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, once you get across the runway down there, try them again on 217 just to see if our, uh, our stuff's working. Roger, I'll try again, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, so something must be going on with that. So anyway, we're taxiing with the tower frequency here, we'll monitor ground. Here's only 28, even though we were over to clear to cross, we always check anyway. Clear to the left, clear to the right. Four flights telling me that we're entering runway 1028. See down here on the iPad. There we are, taxiing. And let's give ground one more try right here. Ground 851 Tango Bravo. 851 Tango Bravo, Tampa Ground. Good morning, taxi the ramp there via Sierra. Roger, into the ramp. Thanks, one Tango Bravo. Alright, so the yep, ground's back up and running. You didn't hear me before, Steve. Hi, no problem. Well, glad that you're back. Go ahead, you guys so. making a video on this one? Yeah, actually I am, so yeah, you'll be featured on this video. Fantastic, good to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for following along. Alright, nice controller. Tampa controllers here are always really nice. So we got our marshal over here to the left. We'll follow his hand instructions in, and we'll shut this thing down and call it a day. Great first day being back at work. If you guys did like the video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, also ring that little bell, and we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care, guys.